The Growhouse Smart Agriculture Evaluation Kit from Arrow Electronics is a simple way for you to initiate more efficient indoor farming. Here's what you need to do to get going. Start by opening up a web browser and then navigate to growhouse.connexios.io. Once there, log in using your Google account. Next, you will need to add a new facility to your account so that the gateways and endnodes you will ultimately add to your system will have a place to reside. Once you've created one facility, you will have the option to create others, or to further subdivide those facilities into containers and grow areas. Or if you prefer, you can come back and complete this subdivision process later. Next, download the Growhouse mobile app from either the App Store or the Google Play Store. Log in using your Google account. Now you will be able to add a gateway to the facility you created previously. To add that gateway, plug in the DC adapter and then connect it to any open network using an ethernet cable. Once the gateway is connected, navigate to the Grow Area tab inside the app and select Add New. The mobile device will now search for the gateway via BLE. A list of discoverable gateways will pop up for you and then you can select which devices you want to register and assign descriptions to. After registering the gateway, not only will it appear in your Grow Areas tab, it will be available for provisioning additional devices. To add devices such as soil nodes and lights, simply click on a gateway that's in the Grow Areas tab and click on the Add Device button. Please note that the end device must be powered on and be within range of the gateway in order to show up as an option. That means that the LED node must be connected to a plugged-in 12-volt DC adapter, and the soil node must have its two AA batteries installed. The gateway will quickly search for available devices and then show you a list of the ones it discovers. Check the box next to each device you would like to register to that specific gateway. At this point, device names and attributes will be assigned. You will also be prompted to select color channels for any of the LED nodes that the gateway detects. These color channel assignments should match the configurations of each light they're being connected to. Again, once devices have been assigned, they will be listed under the appropriate gateway in the app. Devices can be added at any time, and if you choose, they can also be grouped together within the app. Your next step in the process is to configure the LED node. Start by navigating to the Devices tab and then select the gear icon of the LED node you'd like to set up. Use the sliders to configure the color channel intensities and create the output spectrum you're looking for. This spectrum can be set to the LED node immediately or saved as a profile, which can be cascaded to other LED nodes that have the same color configuration. The spectrum you selected can also be dimmed or brightened by using the top preset slider. You can even set up a recurring schedule for when that particular LED node should be activated. The system also allows you to group LED nodes so that commands can be sent to a series of lights simultaneously. Simply navigate to the gateway under which the LED nodes reside and then select the Groups button. There, not only can you create new groups, you can also view existing groups that have already been created. When creating a new group, you'll be prompted to assign attributes and select the LED node channel configuration. Only LED nodes that have been registered to the gateway and share the same channel configurations can be added to the group. Once you assign attributes, select Find Devices and a list of matching devices will appear. Then select only those you wish to include in that group. Once you've set up some groups, you can review them at any time just select any group from the group list to see the devices that are included within that group, the lighting profiles you can assign to it, and any events that are currently scheduled. To create new group profiles, select the Profiles button and click New Profile. This new profile can be applied now or scheduled as an event. If you are scheduling an event, you will be prompted to set when that event will occur and how often it will recur. And all profiles, events, and devices can be added, modified, or deleted at any time. Now let's move on to the final step, setting up your soil nodes. Each soil node includes both a moisture probe and a pH probe. Plus, it's battery powered, which makes it easy to move between plants. 
Simply insert these probes into the soil of the plants you want to monitor. The soil node captures this data and reports it back to the gateway where it is sent to the cloud. Using the app, you can monitor both live and historical data for each individual node. You also have the ability to set up a variety of alerts based on the conditions the soil node measures. For instance, you can configure the system to alert you if the pH in the soil is too high or if the battery voltage in the sensor is too low. This has been a quick, high-level overview of how to set up the Growhouse Smart Agriculture System exclusively from Arrow. For even greater detail, contact your Arrow representative or go to arrow.com forward slash growhouse.